fresh violence in Manipur's Jerebam has claimed the lives of five people. Suspected militants have killed a man in his sleep while four others were killed in an exchange of fire. Now, this comes days after violence in Bishnupur, where an elderly person was killed and five others were injured. Now, as the crisis deepens in the northeast state, Chief Minister Barain Singh and his cabinet are all set to meet with the governor for a second day. The delegation will be submitting a memorandum to the center via the governor. Now, ethnic violence has killed over 200 in Manipur since it first broke out in May last year. And in this recent violence, drones and missiles are being used to escalate the violence in the state. Yesterday, some Kuki militants, they have fired and attacked the fringe areas in between Bishnupur and the Churashankur border. After that, there was a long-range rocket fired from the hills by Kuki militants at Moirang Koiro Lekai, in which one senior citizen, civilian, named R.K. Rabai, he died and six more civilians injured. Today morning also, in two such combing operations, a good number of sophisticated arms, ammunition, explosive grenades and others were <coughs> recovered. Today early morning, suspected cookie militants, they attacked Nungchabi village under Jiribang district, in which one senior citizen, he got killed. There was a report of one Baspati Mayum Lakhi Kumar Sarma, 41 year old of Dibong Kuno, Jiribam, he got killed. And later while searching in the general area where the firing took place, there are three dead bodies of the miscreants are found. The details of the exact miscreants are yet to be ascertained. Crossing over to my colleague Anamika, who's been tracking the latest when it comes to what's taking place in Manipur. Anamika, let us know about the latest developments, especially when it comes to the Chief Minister's movement. Yes, uh, this uh, fresh violence in Manipur, I uh, have, like, you know, started the uh, t um, tense uh, situation in Manipur and talking about uh, uh, the PM, PM and Biren Singh uh, and the ongoing crisis in Manipur was and Chief Minister and Biren Singh along with his cabinet and ruling party, uh, Amelis, is set to meet the state government and the delegation led by the CM plans to submit a memorandum to the central government through the governor. And uh, this meeting is expected uh, to uh, take place at around 11, 11 a.m. And it's already 11 5. The, uh, the chief uh, minister and uh, other person have already uh, been into in the governor place. And soon the meeting will be started. And talking about uh, uh, one more mysterious thing. And uh, on last evening, one flying object, one flying particular flying object had triggered security alert in Manipur airport. I would like to mention this also Manipur airport late to brief security alert between 6.35 p.m. and 7 uh, 5 p.m. several witness reported seeing an object and however uh, the airport before disappeared from this view a senior officials uh, from the police and central reserve force uh, have quickly responded to the incident incident and uh, this preliminary investigations reveal that the last flight from uh, Imphal have uh, departed between 6.30 p.m. and uh, 6.35 p.m. yesterday and this is the present update in uh, Manipur and we are continuously tracking on the CM uh, meeting also which is uh, uh, heading with the governor and what all uh, things will, what all new development will be coming we are focusing and Virin Singh would be putting forward before the governor, which include yeah, unified command, because the state government wants a unified command to be put in their hand. The state government wants uh, uh, the, all the powers to be given in their hands so that they can control the situation which is suddenly escalating. Uh, what uh, Andirin Singh and his cabinet is also expected to tell it to the governor that there are external forces which is behind these kind of drone attack and the kind of ammunition 
which is uh, being received by uh, these uh, militants uh, from uh, the other community is certainly something which can make things more complex. Uh, in this, uh, uh, you know, changing uh, situation, the movement of the chief minister of the state towards the governor's house, giving a memorandum that they want a unified command, is making very important political move. What is going to happen next is going to be seen, but this memorandum will be further on submitted before the Home Ministry. With video and Vimal, Priyank Tupati, reporting for Imphal for the Times at Work. All right, that is my colleague Priyank on the ground in Imphal directly tracking what's taking place in Manipur, considering that there has been a fresh spurt of violence that's been witnessed over the last week itself. In the most recent violence, remember, at least five people have lost their lives, and horrifically and tragically, one man was killed in his sleep, while four others were killed in an exchange of fire. Now, when it comes to what's going to be taking place today itself, the Chief Minister Bahrain Singh is going to be leading a delegation. He is leading a delegation at this point. There are going to be meeting the governor and they are going to essentially be submitting a memorandum to the center via the governor. Crossing over to my colleague Priyank to get us more on this. Priyank, let us know what's taking place as far as the chief minister's delegation is concerned. Uh, see, important development happening on the political front uh, by uh, the CM and Biren Singh, who has just reached here. Uh, we are standing outside the Raj Bhavan in Imphal, where the Governor Lakshman Acharya is there. He has uh, arrived from uh, Guwahati. And what we are getting to know, that and Biren Singh has uh, come forward with uh, all those uh, cabinet ministers, where important key factors will be apprised in a memorandum, which is about to be given to the Governor, which will be certainly given handed over to the Home Ministry. Uh, the state government is demanding a unified command, which means that uh, the presence of the central forces, uh, which include CRPF uh, and army at several quarters, uh, should not be given and uh, the state government should be given total power to control the situation. On the other side, the CM is also going to apprise the governor here uh, that uh, uh, the, uh, the, the manner in which uh, these drone attacks are happening, certainly there is uh, an external hand because uh, earlier to that we have seen that rocket propelled launchers were used by these militants. But uh, now the usage of these drones, which is certainly a very scary thing for the government, which can uh, uh, be dropped anywhere, any place, without any kind of hindrance, uh, is something is certainly something which is coming out from the external hand, which obviously means uh, Myanmar. Because from Myanmar, we have seen that um, arms and ammunition have been. Uh, All right, Priyan, thank you so uh, much for joining us. We'll have to leave it there as there's some more breaking news that's coming in at this point.